The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler is not just one of my favorite detective stories, it's one of my favorite books, period. The voice of his detective, Philip Marlowe, is unmistakable. Listen to this passage from just the second page of the novel when he first meets his client's younger daughter. She was 20 or so, small and delicately put together, but she looked durable. She wore pale blue slacks and they looked well on her. She walked as if she were floating. Her hair was a fine tawny wave cut, much shorter than the current fashion of page boy tresses curled in at the bottom. Her eyes were slate gray and had almost no expression when they looked at me. She came over near me and smiled with her mouth and she had little sharp predatory teeth as white as fresh orange pith and as shiny as porcelain. They glistened between her thin too taut lips. Her face lacked color and didn't look too healthy. Tall, aren't you? She said. I didn't mean to be. The whole book is like that, with colorful figures of speech and sharp, witty dialogue just coming at you constantly. Chandler is representative of the style of detective fiction called hard-boiled. In some ways, this is an American backlash against the Golden Age novels, which were largely by British writers. Instead of a slightly bumbling narrator who sees the detective as something of a heroic enigma, the story is narrated by the detective himself. Instead of large country estates, we have gritty city life with drug dens and pornographers. Instead of the sex and violence happening off stage, the narrator describes it directly. The detectives in hard-boiled stories are often anti-heroes. They make morally questionable decisions. They reveal to us the dark underbelly of all humanity. There is in hard-boiled novels a kind of nihilism the hard-boiled genre has a direct connection also to the film style known as film noir. After we read the novel, we'll also watch the film adaptation of The Big Sleep, directed by Billy Wilder and co-written by William Faulkner. Like the novel itself, it's a masterpiece of its genre. <laughs>